Spring is often a time seen for spring cleaning, starting fresh, but that doesn't mean that you have to give a complete overhaul to your wardrobe. I'm a much bigger advocate in breathing new life in those essential basics that you already have. But oftentimes those basics are kind of just overlooked themselves. And we like to just keep adding things to our closet that don't really work with the majority of the rest of our closet. Essential basics can not only complement, but can also enhance the rest of your wardrobe. And by investing in classic pieces, it kind of gives you that security in knowing that you can wear them for years to come and as a byproduct, just be more sustainable. So if you're looking to revamp your wardrobe for the upcoming spring season, here are 10 timeless wardrobe essentials to consider instead. My first item on the list is a classic trench. It's a timeless piece that never really goes out of style and it's versatile enough to wear over pretty much anything. You can wear it over jeans and a tee, over a really cute dress. I mean, I even wore mine to my engagement shoot recently. And aside from being a really easy way to elevate your wardrobe, it's also just super practical. It works really great in most climates. You can find ones with lining if you live in a cooler climate, and you can also find really thin, breathable options if you live somewhere a bit warmer. The fit is also extremely flattering. It kind of has that hourglass silhouette. You throw it on, it just looks great. And it can make you feel put together even on days when you're just feeling kind of blah. I personally have quite the trench coat collection and I've gotten most of mine from thrift stores, but the one that I wore for my engagement shoot is actually linked in the blog post that's corresponding with this video. And as always, you can find that in the description box down below. You can also find any other pieces that I'm going to mention on this list, so be sure to check it out. Number two on this list is a blouse, specifically a silk blouse. I just think they have a really delicate and elegant finish that's really, that really just like emulates the characteristics of spring. This is a closet staple for me year round. It's perfect for elevating even the most basic of outfits and it's a great going out staple, a great workwear staple. You pretty much can't go wrong with one of these in your closet. I will say though that silk can be a little high maintenance. So if the fabric is just too much to handle for you, you can always just try a cotton or a linen instead. That also goes for if you do experience spring in a warmer climate, a linen or a cotton might be a more breathable option for you. Now high quality denim is the third item on my list. I don't know why, but spring always just feels like denim season to me. As soon as we move into fall, I really enjoy wearing like thicker wool trousers and then that can kind of continues into winter. And then of course in summer, you know I'm obsessed with linen pants. So for spring, especially when I'm wearing more of my like lighter blue and pink and even lilac pieces, I really love to pair denim with them. I think that the color goes really well. I think a lot of people disregard that denim does have a color to it, even though it is kind of widely considered a neutral. A more classic pair of denim is going to have like kind of a medium indigo wash and that just fits so well in most spring color palettes. I just got back from wintering in Spain and while we were there we also popped into Portugal and France and kind of every pair of denim that I was seeing was very loose, baggy, and oversized. And that silhouette is just really on trend right now. But for me, the ultimate classic is just a pair of straight leg, medium wash denim. You really can't go wrong. For the fourth item on my list, I actually have a maxi skirt. I know midi skirts are, again, on trend right now. We're seeing a lot of denim mini skirts in particular. And yes, they're super versatile. They can be worn in a variety of settings, but for me, not only is a maxi skirt just like a lot more fun, it's a great classic piece that just like allows your personality to shine through. Like I'm not really talking about those like column stretchy maxi skirts that we were seeing a lot in the 2000s. I'm talking about like a beautiful voluminous like ankle length skirt. They're great to throw on. You can bring it with you into the summer season. So while everyone is running straight to the denim middies this season, you can rest assured that your statement maxi will be in your closet forever. You can pull it out of your closet on days when you need to pick me up and even try pairing it with your trench coat for a more sophisticated feel. Number five, our first pair of shoes on this list is a pair of plain white sneakers. This is actually my third edition of the 10 essentials you need for a season. I did autumn and winter as well. And as I've been kind of making a series out of it, I wanted to include some pieces that would fill out your wardrobe as a whole. And I felt that plain white sneakers were really missing from that overall list. Now with sneakers, I really think there is something 
to sticking to a brand that you've always gone with. It's kind of an easy way to obtain kind of like a signature style or look or a piece that you're known for. And in a way, being part of like a sneaker crew is like, it's kind of like a community. You know, whether you are a Converse wearer or you wear Vans or Veja's the new royal shoe, or maybe you are a more elevated gal and you want to gravitate towards maybe some Chanel or Gucci sneakers. I don't know. There's just so many sneakers that go in and out of trend constantly. And I think it's kind of nice just to like stick to one and you know they're going to be comfortable and you know it's going to be classic and ultimately it's going to be just you. Myself, I'm a Reebok classic girl, although I did have a brief stint with some very chunky oversized filas. And while I do still kind of like them, they don't go with as much as the Reebok classics do. So yeah, pick your brand, stick with it and enjoy a pair of very comfortable footwear. As you know, spring in most places can get quite chilly in the early mornings or in the late evenings. And so sometimes there's nothing more perfect than to throw on than a lightweight sweater. If you're looking to build out a kind of capsule with this list, I would definitely opt for something that could be paired with the trench coat, maybe layered over top of the blouse, throw in the sneakers and skirt, and you have yourself an outfit. Number seven on this list is the shirt dress. This is a style that I will throw on and without fail get a ton of compliments. I think because it's just such a classic flattering silhouette, you instantly look put together without having any overly fussy or feminine details. My personal favorite is an A-line shirt dress with a belted waist. They've never really been overly on trend, and so I just think that they're going to stand the test of time. Now that we're down to number eight on this list, it's finally time to bring in an accessory. And for this list, I've chosen a light colored handbag. It's spring, it's time to put away those black or brown leather handbags and just have some fun. Play around with some lighter colors, maybe find something with some beautiful delicate embroidery. One of my favorite places to look for bags like this is on Etsy. You can find so many stunning designs that are all handmade or vintage. I just think with a light colored handbag, it's such a nice way to kind of brighten up your look for spring. Slingbacks at number nine are the second pair of shoes on this list. I am a sandals girl through and through. I love having my toes out in the summer, but sometimes in spring, we're just not quite there yet. And so why not go for a more open back style, like a slingback or a mule? I feel like with slingbacks though, you get that added security and comfort that comes with the little strap that runs across your heel. One of my favorite classic looks is a cap toed slingback, the kind with kind of like the, the black on the front and the tan on the back. I think they look so beautiful, especially when paired with a trend. Coat. But if that classic look isn't quite for you, you can always have more fun with color or different shapes or styles. I know obviously that shoes come in and out of trend, but a lot of time I think with handbags and shoes in particular, it's more about just letting your personality shine through. And if you choose something fun, it doesn't really matter because you will love them for years and years. Now the final item on this top 10 list of spring essentials just had to be a piece of jewelry. If you've enjoyed this list so far, please give this video a like and subscribe. I have the top 10 summer essentials coming very soon. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate you following along and I have so much fun stuff planned for the summer. I just can't wait to share. So for this piece of jewelry, there's just something so delicate. I feel like they're so fitting for spring, even though they are a summer birthstone, but I mean, I guess some people consider June a spring month. I don't know. I'm often seen wearing these. In fact, I wore a pair basically daily for over a year. <laughs> And to this day, I would still never be without them. If you guessed pearl, you guessed right. I feel like pearls are just something that go with any look. They just look so natural and elegant. I love that they can just be kind of worn casually every day, but they are seen as so timeless that they're usually paired with a wedding dress. I feel like I can safely say that out of any item on this list, a pearl will never go out of style. This is an item that is definitely best to shop secondhand. So happy thrifting. Or you can check out some of the really cute ones that I've linked in that blog post that I mentioned before. As a bonus, I do have two other essentials that your spring wardrobe should probably never be without, and that is rubber boots and an umbrella. Obviously, the chokehold that rubber boots had on us millennials a few years ago was unmatched. <laughs> Uh, you definitely do not need to be wearing rubber boots that much. 
But if it's raining, why not throw in a really cute, fun pair? Maybe with some floral detailing on them or something. I don't know. I just feel like it's a closet staple, especially if you live somewhere where it rains quite often. And in terms of an umbrella, why go with a boring basic black when this is an accessory that you can let your personality really shine through? If you're looking for something a little classier, why not go with a clear umbrella? They're really amazing for photo shoots and you can just have some fun with that. In general, spring is a time to incorporate lighter fabrics and colors into your wardrobe. I'm a very seasonal dresser myself, and I find as soon as the days start to get longer, I find myself ditching the moody colors and darker hues. Investing in sustainable and practical pieces are great ways to build a timeless wardrobe that will serve you well for years to come. So if you'd like to learn more about how to do that, please follow along and thanks so much for watching.